I like taking orders sometimes. I'm jumping out of a motherfucking plane. I like my, my women 30. First drink, 21. <laughs> And I think that's like the craziest thing about falling in love with someone that you absolutely adore is the realization that, oh my God, like this person loves me as much as I love them. Let me see your nails. Stop doing what? it like that. What? You're doing it like this. Like... <laughs> Put them out. <laughs> That's how you scratch my back. <laughs> okay. Wow. They're pretty. What's the occasion? My birthday. It's your birthday. Yes. It's your 30th birthday. Tomorrow. My girl is 30. And we met when we were 24. Ooh, because you know I can't do math. I was going <laughs> to say 26. <laughs> We met when we were 24 and now you're 30. We were babies. Still babies. I mean, I don't know about that, but. Babies having a baby. No, we're not. <laughs> you want me she to grow up so fast. You want face. me to grow up so fast. Babe, I'm just saying we're not babies having a baby, but. Well, I know I'm not a baby still because look. the freaking allergies are fucking me up. The pollen. Sniffling. I can't breathe. Every night it gets worse. Day seven of allergies. No, I was gonna say I was gonna say like day seven of uh the since of the apocalypse. Day seven. The pollen you don't has been food. crazy. The pollen has been crazy. No, like Georgia pollen. Like I'm fighting for my life. Look at my eye. No, don't actually look no, at no, it. No, no, no. Let me see. Let me see. Oh yeah, it looks a little red. Why would you? <laughs> Woo! Well. Bay's birthday is tomorrow, manana. She said it doesn't feel like her birthday. It doesn't. I told her her birthday is tomorrow, that's why. I feel like the first day of April should feel like my birthday. <laughs> Boom, whole month. Oh my gosh. Well, I love you and I want you to feel celebrated. I do. Okay, oh. I'm taking her somewhere very special tomorrow. I'm gonna be happy. It's gonna be fun. Really? Yes. Good. Nervous though. It's Victoria's birthday. We just came home for breakfast. And I got the setup. We got the cake. She about to come in. Who the heck did this? <laughs> Oh, it's in our house! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, baby! <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute! This is so cute! Did you know? No. <laughs> yeah. Like, you knew. How would I know? I don't know. <laughs> How would I know? <laughs> Rock. Happy birthday! This is my so girl. cute. Oh my god, these are the biggest strawberries I've ever seen. This is so cute. This is so cute. Now you get all of this? Yeah. Oh, right there. How does she I, get had, in? I got all the balloons delivered to her house yesterday. Oh, I was like, how did she get in? I just left it open for her. Oh my god, wait, I want to do that sound. Victor, you did this? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, we haven't even done an intro or told them what's going on. Y'all, it's my babe's 30th birthday. 
So we're celebrating today. We were supposed to go skydiving. And we were, she was excited. We were gonna jump out of a plane, but it got canceled because it's too windy out. But I keep telling Lindsay, I'm not like, I'm disappointed, but not like for real, for real. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, if they say I shouldn't be jumping out of a plane, I'm not jumping out of a plane. <laughs> They're the professionals, okay? Yeah, I mean, I agree, but it's just like a, bu a bummer. But, um, because really, the reason why I know you feel so sad because you was planning on right now is because that's the only thing I planned on doing. Like, I told her I didn't want anything else except to jump out of a plane. So, all this other stuff is such a good, sweet, nice, lovely surprise because I just want to jump out of a plane. Well, we're going to reschedule it, so, yeah. Yeah, and my brother in town, because Lindsay actually cannot jump out of a plane. Lindsay cannot jump out of a plane because of her sprained ankle. He low-key kind of excited that we can. <laughs> so that he could go with her, but um, it's not happening. So we just got back from breakfast. We went to Breakfast Boys in Atlanta. All of this stuff that is at this. Yeah. It was fire. So good. Your favorite spot. We got, I think we've taken y'all there before, but we have lobster yeah. mac and cheese, red velvet pancakes, Jerk chicken, salmon hash, shrimp and grits, literally the whole spread. Tonight we're gonna go out to dinner with my parents to celebrate. So I'm having a very special birthday dinner and that's also gonna be really nice and I'm excited. Good. And I'm still gonna go skydiving, it just won't be on my birthday, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> this vlog ain't over till I'm on that plane. <laughs> we found something to do for the birthday girl. What we doing bae? Sandbox VR. Y'all, we realize that we we literally have done everything that there is to do in Atlanta, so. You excited? Very. My brother never been. You scared? Look at Seth. He look don't at even Dapper. know what it is. He really don't know, for real. He's like, so scared for what? I mean, he he, he's not going to be scared. It's scary. He's not going to be scared, y'all. It's scary. What's our team name? Our team name is V and her minions. <laughs> it's just because it's her birthday. Drink 30 shots for her 30th birthday. Who drinking 30 shots? I don't know oh, why they that. keep saying 30, 30 shots. I don't know why they keep saying 30 shots. They turn around like, what? Don't, don't hype that up because I ain't doing it. 30 shots. What are you I'm going to drink them? something sweet. I don't know. They're all sweet. I'm going to tell you that right now. Pina colada. Pina colada mixed with strawberry. First drink, 21. Um, Plus nine. You wish. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That peanut colada That peanut colada hitting. That's, that's strong. I don't, I don't taste no liquor in yours. Yeah, it just tastes like juice. Like, I like it. I mean, this one's strong, but not at, like, it still tastes good for what it actually is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby, buy you a drink. Grab some more. You can take my shot. I like taking orders. Huh? Sometimes. I like taking orders. Sometimes. <laughs> Very what? heavy on the sometimes. Oh, I know. Woo! We at the steakhouse. Here's my birthday fit. Ombre dress from House of CB. Hills are Steve Madden, and I love them. 
They know it. Oh, the decor here is amazing. You know that they're, they're a sister company to Pompas and Frankie's. Both of the places that we went to. She gave me the whole history. My name is Emily. There are two guys, one from Mexico and one from Argentina. Happy birthday from your H&W family. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's mine? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this plate feels hot. I officially got my steak, steak dinner on. What I want, whoever, whoever's gonna do my makeup, I want them to do it like a couple of times because I'm a brown girl. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Okay, so update for me. Um, I already changed back into my little blue shirt because I'm about to go shower. I haven't showered yet, but I had to get out of that dress because I like wanted to get comfortable. But I just wanted to say, Lindsay literally planned the most perfect day. And I think that she was kind of nervous because it wasn't anything like big or grand to her. But for me, it wasn't just the breakfast. It wasn't just her getting somebody to decorate and have balloons and a cake, all of my favorite color. And it wasn't just her making reservations at this beautiful steakhouse um, and driving me around the whole day and taking me for drinks. Everything that makes today perfect is just the details and how much she pays attention to me because she loves me. And I think that's like the craziest thing about falling in love with someone that you absolutely adore is the realization that, oh my God, like this person loves me as much as I love them. I'm just here kind of basking in that, waiting for her to come upstairs. She's downstairs right now letting Bryson out. But I'm just waiting for her to come upstairs so we can shower together and go to sleep together and I'm just very grateful and thankful. So this is just my perspective of this beautiful day. <laughs> Lindsay's coming upstairs now. Hey, mama. Huh? Look at her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking for you. <laughs> Literally the birth, the, the best, oh, thank you. I've had such an amazing day all because of you. No. Yeah. Because of you, you're 30. Yeah, but you just planned a beautiful day for me and I really appreciate it. You deserve the world. And more. I already have it. No, you don't. Look, y'all, if you ever want to see the world, just look in, into Lindsay's eyes. <laughs> Holy cow, is that the world that I'm looking at? Oh my God. Ooh, I you love you. So good. You're so sparkly. Thank you. It's the body butter Fenty. Mm. <laughs> I like it. I like my, my women 30. You're about to be 30, so. <laughs> They're sexier that way. I also like my women 30. Oh. So you got about four <laughs> weeks to catch up to what I really like. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go shower and in this beautiful day, but we'll be back because I'm going to try to go skydiving. Oh my god, is my titty popping out? We are in the car right now. It is 9.02 a.m. We're about to go to the skydiving place. How are you feeling? Feeling good, nervous. <laughs> I'm excited for you. Uh, it's like an hour away, so I'm gonna call them right now just to double check. Everything is like good to go. There's no wind or anything. And we should be skydiving in no time. Or you should be. Yeah. <laughs> we are about how far? Like, like 15 minutes away. We're 15 minutes away. My nerves are. I don't know. I don't know um, exactly where my nerves are right now. I feel excited, but I still feel really nervous. I feel like this is the perfect time to talk about why I want to do a skydive for my birthday. So I'm going to do that. How many years ago was it when we went? 
try to go skydiving the first time? It was like 2021, I think. 2021, Lindsay took me on a birthday trip to Colorado to go like snowboarding, and we did that. And then while we were there, we like met up with some friends and it was so spontaneous. They were like, we're going skydiving tomorrow. Do y'all want to come? And I was like, oh my God, like I've always wanted to go skydiving. Like since I met Lindsay, I would tell her like, I want to go skydiving. And so I said, yeah, we said, yeah, we were both going to go. Or you weren't going to, you weren't, yeah. I wasn't going. I was never going. <laughs> she was never going, but she was, she was going with me. Yeah. I was so the next morning, which was my actual birthday, actually let's back up a little bit. That night, we all got toe up, like we drank so much because we were like going to midnight for my birthday. Yeah. And y'all know I don't drink, so if I'm telling y'all that I was drinking, drinking, like, yeah. So anyways, we were heading to go skydiving in the car the next day. I started to get really, really sick in the car, like on the way there. Like, TMI, we had to keep stopping to every gas station on every exit so that I could go use the bathroom or, like, I don't know, like I couldn't, I had like a lump in my throat. I feel like I couldn't swallow. Um, I started to get really hot, almost like hot flashes, like I was in my 40s or 50s. And at some point, we were in traffic, right? And we're driving in the car behind our friends. And we're in traffic, and it's like the trap, like the, it's not moving. And all that I remember from then on is I looked at Lindsay, and I was like, I think I'm dying. Boy, it went downhill from there, okay? Like, I started pouring water on myself because I was like, oh my God, I'm so hot. I FaceTimed my mom, like, y'all, I'm on the phone with my mom, I'm like, Mom, I'm just calling you because I think I'm gonna die. It escalated to where Lindsay had to call the ambulance. I get in the ambulance and I get to the hospital and basically they were like, you have elevation sickness, which is just, I drank too much alcohol while at high elevations. Cool, fine, that's what my diagnosis was. But that started my mental health journey with anxiety and depression because since we were in a car when I started to like freak out and I thought I was dying every time I got in a car like to go to work when I got back I thought I was dying and yeah so that would happen for like what a year after that couldn't fly I couldn't fly I couldn't like do any type of transportation where we were like stuck together in something like it was so traumatic yeah that's like the long version <laughs> No, that was like, no, I mean, that was the short version. <laughs> but basically, like, you had elevation sickness, yes, and you were hung over, and that's why you were shitting, or that's why you were using the bathroom and everything. <laughs> but it turned into your first panic attack. Like, yes. you weren't sweating and, like, thinking you were dying because of the elevation sickness. You were just, like, panicking. Yeah. We had never, like, she'd never had one before. I never had one before, so... That's why we called the ambulance because we literally thought something was wrong with her like heart or something. You said your heart was like pounding. Oh yeah, my heart was racing. Yeah, and so the ambulance literally came and like did an ECG on you like in the parking lot. Um, but like they were saying, they were just like asking me like questions about your heart and I was like, she's like healthy and everything. And they were like, I think it was just a panic attack. And I was like, okay, I don't know. They were like telling me this. Yeah. But then, anyway, we, we brought you to the hospital. So, so like, when you have a panic attack in a situation, then you just associate that situation with a lot of other things. So, full circle moment to your birthday of three years later. This is a full circle moment. Um, I have learned to cope with my anxiety and my depression because once you have an anxiety attack or a panic attack, it doesn't go away. It seems to like always be there, but you learn how to control it. And I've really learned how to control it, which working out has really helped because I started running because of my anxiety and it really helped my anxiety. Today is me redeeming myself. It was originally gonna be on my birthday because that was the day that I had my first panic attack, but because of the weather and the wind conditions, we could not go on Wednesday on my birthday. 
So we didn't get to go on our birthday, but we are going today, two days later, and it'll still be just as satisfying and a proud moment for myself to know how far I've come. And we're almost there. <laughs> we're almost, I'm so nervous! We literally are almost there. We're like seven minutes away. Come here, little buddy. You're caught in your thing. But while we were out here, this little dog just ran up on us. And go. Hello. Hello. Doesn't this look like Bryson in another life? <laughs> look at his bang. Does he only have one eye? Come here. Hello. Come here, little guy. Hi. Oh, he oh, does. Only have one eye. You're oh. so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> What's your name? This must be like their You're dog. You're so sweet. He's chilling. Oh, he only has one eye. That's so sad. He's okay. I know. Well, he's always only had one eye, probably. Oh, I mean, I don't know, but he's okay. Like, if you're a dog, all right, close your eye and then think about if you were a dog, would you even know? Yes, you would know, babe. I wouldn't know. Why do you I'd think? Be like, I could see you. You know? How long is the necklace short? Um. Wow. Get her in there tight. <laughs> you got the most jumps? <gasps> Yay! Woo! You got me, Jake. I got you, girl. Oh, you got me, got me. I got you, got you. Okay, okay. I got two kids on the ground waiting for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. I love something with reason. Yep. Yeah. Are they here? Are they here? Are they here? <laughs> no, that's actually my roommate's kid. They're a couple years older. They're uh, almost three, almost five. Oh, they're babies. They're here today. No. He said if he tapped me right here, I need to like, Uh huh. Right here, but my hands are like this, and I need to. Yeah. And then said, what I'm gonna do with my video? I'm gonna say, Period. <laughs> Wait, practice, go. Like you flying out of here. Oh. Wow. I'm fucking nervous. My eyes keep watering. I feel like in the video, not gonna be going up because I like have, you know, allergies, so it's not gonna be going up. And my eyes are watering, and my water from my eyes are flying. <laughs> you going today? Good luck. I'll pray for you too. Pray for me, please. <laughs> I just love us. <laughs> it was just a recognition of you see me, I see, I see you. you. <laughs> yeah. So as I was walking out, I just seen this black girl in there and she looked at me like, bitch, you go in. I'm like, bitch, you go in. I'm like, pray for you. I'm jumping out of a motherfucking plane. Hey, it's it's my first and last. Your first and last. I sure. like that. What are you celebrating today? Um, it's my birthday. Happy birthday! Yeah. What a way to celebrate that. So you've never done this before, right? No. You know how high we're going in this plane? No. Do you want to know? High, like uh, I don't know. Fourteen thousand feet. Are you ready for this? <laughs> yes, you ready for this? I'm you ready. Any, I'm ready. You guys ready? Any shout outs? Be um, feeling good, feeling great. Let's go have some fun. Thank you.
ate it. <laughs> it was amazing. It was really? Beautiful. It was? It was beautiful. Oh was my amazing. god. <laughs> like, jumping out was the scariest part. Like, But I didn't even think about it. I just. Really? Like, I wanted to think about it, and then I was like, if I think about it, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm just so happy you're down here. I was watching you. That was incredible. Oh, yeah. Yeah? I would do it again. You would? If someone else wanted to go, I would go again. Okay, I might go later. I can't believe I just jumped out of a plane. <laughs> just jumped out of a plane! <laughs> Literally insane. Just jumped out of a plane. Um, my thoughts on the way up, the turbulence. I was chilling because the videographer was so nice. She was just like, this turbulence is normal like because it's such a small plane. I was just looking out the window and I was just thinking, I cannot believe I'm, I'm about to jump. But oddly, I wasn't like freaking out. It was like this calm, calmness. Like I was just like, wow, like, I'm, like I had already decided it was just happening. So I was like, wow, can't believe I'm about to jump out of, out of this plane. But y'all, when you get to like, wait, before you jump, it's like 15 seconds where you just sitting, looking down out on the world that you're about to jump down on, waiting for them to like be ready to jump. That to me was the craziest part. I wasn't scared then too, I was just looking like, I don't know, like I was surprisingly not scared. I was just, everything was just like, damn, that's crazy. This is right. really happening. Like, I think I was in shock, like, right. you know, we jumped. Y'all, we just dropped, like dropped. We was dropping, 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 and then they finally did the parachute. And that's when I was able to just kind of like look around, take it all in, see how beautiful the world is. We saw like Stone Mountain, and I could see like, it was just beautiful, and the weather was like perfect. Like, I was like, I was up in the sky, I was like, this is amazing, this is so beautiful. I was just like, wow. here how are you feeling are you still on a high um i'm on a birthday high i had a really amazing birthday and i really love all the experiences that you gave me and very grateful and happy so thank you so much you're welcome baby i love you you deserve it all love you too. i'm glad you ended up being able to do that yeah me too <laughs> i kind of was hoping that it was gonna get canceled like this morning but i didn't want to tell you but it didn't, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and it was amazing. I'm so happy I did it. Yeah. But my ears wow. still hurt. My ears still hurt, y'all. The pressure, like when I dropped, my ears immediately started hurting, and they like still hurt. Keep trying to get it to stop. <sighs> Boy, did you hear it? Yeah. That was my ear. Not uh, my nose. That was my ear. That was crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love y'all so much. We'll see you when we see you. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Period. Bye. Your birthday is in a month and we about to act up, show up. <laughs>